Virgo. Hey Virgo, it is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your weekly reading. This will be for my Virgo Sun Moon Rising, also Venus. This is general. It will not resonate with all of you Virgos out there. Do check your moon or rising sign for additional messages. All right, Virgo. So let's definitely hop in. Let it be great. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Do hit the notification bell so that you guys are notified. If you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, I mean, not Libra, sorry, um, Virgo, you guys already know, fireintuition.com, or you guys can check my description box below. All right, so let's hop in, Virgo, let's see what you guys are focusing on this week. Let's see messages for Virgo. What, are, what is Virgo focusing on this week? You know, a message for Virgo. Love. So you guys are you guys are focusing on love this week. So love is on your mind. It's on the brain. It says, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So I feel like it's more than just like romantic. I feel like even, even friendships are, you guys are just opening yourself up to love. You guys are committing to things. You're just being more loving, more open with this love card here is what I'm getting. But you guys are committing to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So if you guys are thinking negative about love or if you guys were just like in a in a dark place or if you guys were just hurt over someone, it's like you're seeing the love in the situation. So what I mean by that is like you're not thinking so negative. You're like, okay, well, it was an experience. It was a lesson. I'm moving forward. Or it's like you guys are changing those negative thoughts around to something positive and you're still seeing the love in situations or you're still believing that love is going to come in or it's not even about believing it's like knowing okay it's like you know love is going to come in but it's like you also know that you have to put a little bit of um effort into it so you're committing to the practice of seeing the good in love this week all right so let's pull some additional messages for you we have letting go so energy so you guys are shifting your energy. You guys are letting go. And remember, I just said, I said, even if something didn't work out, it's like, you're like, I learned from that. It was an experience. It was a lesson, whatever it may be. But you guys are letting go this week, okay? Maybe you're focusing your love on someone else or something else. And then we have joy is fun. So your energy definitely is shifting. Three plus seven, 10. There's some type of completion. And I feel like with this completion, this ending, you're letting go of something, Okay, and it's shifting you into a better energy when it comes to love. You're thinking and being and speaking more positive when it comes to love. And then you're having joyous fun. So you're just getting out, celebrating, having fun, maybe hanging with the kids, family, celebrating something possibly this weekend. And then we have a new beginning. So you're going into a new cycle. So loving it. So I just feel like whatever you've been through, whatever you guys were experiencing, it's like you're accepting what has happened. It was a love situation and you're letting it go and you're shifting your energy for the positive is what I'm getting. All right. So let's hop into the love portion, Virgo, and let's see what we got for you guys this week, November 11th through the 18th in love. All right. So let's see what's coming in for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. November 11th through the 18th in love. What's coming in for my Virgos? All right, let's see, Virgo. Let it be great. So by letting go, things are going to shift. And you're going to be having a lot of fun. You're going to be excited. All right? So when it comes to Virgo this week and what's coming towards you guys, let's see what's coming towards you guys this week, Virgo. The death card, wow, Scorpio energy. We're in Scorpio season. So you guys are definitely going through a death of transformation. You guys are allowing some type of transformation. Something is ending and something told me to keep shuffling and that's why I did. So I'm going to stop here. So we have a death card here, okay? The present energy you guys are in is the two of wands reverse, okay? What you guys don't see coming, page of wands. The challenge this week, three of wands reverse. The advice, the higher fonts, potential outcome. The wheel of fortune, loving it. Yes, by so so by letting go of something, things are now turning in your favor. At the bottom of the deck, we have the two of pentacles, weighing things up practically, making a decision, making a choice. All right. I'm gonna pull three cards over here. These will be three additional messages. It can be general or love. We'll see at the end of the reading. All right, but definitely loving this for you, Virgo. So you guys have a lot of change coming in. 
okay especially with this death card starting out so it could be scorpio maybe you guys have scorpio in your chart but for that to be the first card out and what's coming towards you is some type of ending you're letting go you're releasing yourself from something this death card is bringing in some type of new beginning with the wheel of fortune here okay now we do have the two of wands reverse aries leo sagittarius you guys do have a lot of fire energy in this reading the present energy is telling me that with the two of wands, something isn't moving forward or you guys are lacking direction or you're stuck on which way to go. Okay. Two of wands are reverse. And it's like, you need to figure out which way you're going or you need to figure out in which direction you're going. For some of you guys, there could be a delay in travel. Maybe someone's trying to travel towards you or come towards you, but there's some type of delay. Okay. Um, we do have the page of wands. So good news coming in. Messages coming in. You've been waiting to hear this. And that's what you don't see coming. So you guys have some passionate communication coming in. See that this person is on like a violin and they're singing. Maybe someone's going to tell you how they feel with this page of wands. But I feel like this is new love with the page of wands. This is someone new. That's going to like someone. I feel like this is someone new. This could be someone from the past, but with the death card, unless this person is doing a whole 180 and turning things around, it's possible because we do have the Wheel of Fortune in the higher font here at Taurus Energy. Okay, now we do have the Three of Wands reverse, and this is the challenge. So someone could be returning with the Three of Wands reverse, okay? Or it's like, because the Two of Wands reverse is looking at the Three of Wands reverse, and this can be you telling yourself, like, in your present energy, like, okay, this isn't moving forward. There's a lack of growth here. Why isn't this moving forward? Why am I sitting here? Why am I waiting? Look at the Three of Wands in the upright. She's staring out the window. She's waiting for a ship to come in. She's waiting for someone to come in. So some of you guys could have been waiting in vain. Okay, or some of you guys are just waiting for something that you know may not come in or may not happen. So that's why with the two of wands reverse, you're asking yourself, like, is this going anywhere? Are we moving forward? Okay, the higher font is here, Taurus energy, and this is the advice. So there's some type of lesson here with the higher font here. But I also feel like there's commitment coming in. But again, needing to let go of something so that this new love or something new can come in. Maybe someone's letting go of someone. Maybe someone's putting an ending to something with the death card. Remember, it can always be the person that you're dealing dealing with their energy as well. Okay, maybe they had to weigh things up practically. Maybe they had to make a decision. All right. So we have the wheel of fortune here, Sagittarius energy, but this is all about luck, um, fortune, like you know, things turning in your favor. So I'm really loving that. All right. So let's go ahead and clarify and see what we got. Because the energy looks really good. I feel like you guys are just kind of confused in which way to go. Really needed to make some type of decision. If you're going to stay, if you're going to go, if you want new love to come in or not. You know, so let's just see what we got. Let's see what we got. So going to the death card. Why is the death card here? The other death card is here for Virgo. The King of Wands. Wow. See, look, endings bring new beginnings. But this is someone taking action. This is someone determined. This is someone that's going to fight for you with this King of Wands here. And there's some type of new beginning with the Ten of Swords coming up in reverse. The King of Wands is showing up in all the readings. And it's like, it's not even the, it doesn't have to be a fire sign. It's just the energy of the King of Wands. And I feel like it's this page of wands energy here too. So someone's coming in and they're showing out, like they're showing up and like showing out, like they really are ready to take action towards you. It's fast moving energy, but it's the king of wands. It's stable because it's the king of wands. He's in the upright with the death card here. He is the new beginning. The will of fortune is here. Sagittarius energy. Some of you guys are dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay. So let's go to the two of wands coming up in reverse. Why is the two of wands reverse? Clear by the two of wands in reverse. Why is the two of wands in reverse? Clarify the two of wands in reverse. We have the three of cups in reverse. So you got some of you guys were holding on to someone that had you in a third party situation. Okay. And, and you were just waiting for them to make a decision and they weren't making a decision. But you guys have someone new coming in. So going to this three of cups coming up in reverse. See the five of swords in reverse. You're letting go and you're moving on from a third party. If it's not a third party, you guys are, you guys were just very unhappy in a relationship with that three of cups in reverse. You were very unhappy. You were down on life. You were unhappy. And you were wanting to come out of it. Maybe you felt stuck. Maybe you felt like you could never come out of this situation um, because there was no movement here. But you guys are definitely moving forward now. You're moving on. You're letting go. Okay? So we have this page of wands here. And this is what you don't see coming. So let's see how the page of wands is here for um, Virgo and what you guys don't see coming this week. The seven of wands reverse. 
Okay, so for some of you guys, someone that did withdraw or walk away from this relationship is going to message you. There is going to be messages coming in. For others of you, it's like you're no longer fighting, you're withdrawing, you're giving up, you're walking away. And that's when this new person is coming in. Page of Wands, this is that King of Wands, this is that new beginning coming in. I promise you, Virgo. Only thing I'm seeing that is because I can tell in the energy going to the Seven of Wands reverse. See the Page of Wands. So you you have two people that's reaching out to you. Five of Cups in reverse. This page of wands of the Five of Cups in reverse is the person from your past. This will be the new person. That's why I said I know that this person is new, but they're coming in as a king. They're the the page of wands here with the seven of wands reverse it can go either way maybe this is someone from your past and this is the new person you're moving on but in the page of wands here this person looks disappointed or maybe there is good news coming in and there is new love here but you're still kind of stuck on the past and not able to fully let go but you see a new opportunity in front of you and just needing to turn it around just needing to see the like needed to look at the situation differently okay so we have the three of wands coming up in reverse and this is a challenge like I said, you guys were waiting for someone to return or come back, or you guys were just waiting and nothing was moving forward. There was a lack of growth. Nothing was happening. Why the three of wands reverse? The seven of cups reverse. Yeah, you guys were kind of stuck on someone with that seven of cups reverse, and you had already made your decision. This was the person that you wanted. You were waiting for them, and they weren't coming back or nothing was happening. Going to the seven of cups reverse. See the six of pentacles. You're waiting for this person to give in to you. And they could have been given in to another situation. They could have also been married or committed. And you were wanting commitment with this person. But let's see why the higher font is the advice. Because like I said, I feel like there's a commitment right in front of you. There's new love right in front of you. Two of Pentacles overall energy really needed to weigh things up. Needed to look at things a little bit more practically. Um, and ask yourself, who's going to really commit to me and give me long term? For some of you guys, once to the higher font here. The FC with the Eight of Pentacles. And that's... The advice here, there's a situation or a relationship that can lead to marriage commitment long term. And the five of pentacles is in reverse. So this is your relationship status changing. You're coming out the cold when it comes to your love life. And it doesn't even have to be with someone. But look, there's new love coming in. But that's what you don't see. And it's coming with long term. So this can lead to long term commitment, marriage, all that good stuff. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Virgo this week? This is the potential outcome. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for the sign of Virgo this week? The Nine of Swords, you're stressed out about something. Knight of Pentacles. So someone that had you stressed out, someone that had you all in your head, could be a Virgo, is finally coming in. And they want to they wanna turn this wheel in their favor. Like, they want to see things move forward. Okay? But it's like this Knight of Pentacles, and I don't feel like this Nine of Swords is you. This Knight of Pentacles is coming into your life. Yeah, they want a second chance, but they're coming with the Nine of Swords. They're stressed, anxiety, can't sleep, can't eat, can't think. They're worried. They have a lot going on. And they want justice with you. Libra energy. Could be a Libra as well. Okay? That's just moving very slow. Okay? Or this can be someone coming back and it's like they're really stressed out and they do want a second chance and they want to turn this. They want to make, they want to see this go forward. They want to move this forward finally. And I, for some of you guys, I feel like there's two people here. Okay? Remember, we're still kind of in the retrograde energy. So that's why I feel like this energy keeps coming up in the weeklies the last couple weeks but then we have the two of pentacles and this is you really needing to weigh things up practically see how close the pentacles are but then see how your hands are so it's like it's telling me like there's someone that you that you're more invested in or you want to be with more than the other person and that's why you're like this this other person with your hand down i feel like might can be new and you're just like mm, do i see myself going towards that person or i already been through so much with this person why not move forward with that person but it's like the universe the higher font is here so they're asking you like you know is, is this is this what you what do you want you know it's time for you to wake things up practically it's time for you to make a decision okay so it's time for you to make a decision virgo so let's see the sun card there could be a leo that's coming in that's going to make you really happy we do have the king of wands here but if not it's like things are going to turn around for the positive See, look, the will of fortune is reverse. So it's like something that wasn't turning in your favor, wasn't moving forward, could possibly turn around for the positive. But you have to let go of something from the past. It's the energy card that we're looking at. There's some type of past energy you're needed to let go of. For others of you with the will of fortune in reverse, it's like you see something wasn't moving forward. And with the sun card, your energy has shifted. You have let go. And that's what you're waiting at. Practically, you're thinking about yourself. And... This person is coming in, but you're moving forward in this other situation because you do see the potential in it and you do see the new love here, okay? 
And then we have justice here. So it could be a Libra entering in, or is this like you're finally getting justice in a love situation? All right. So let's look at the additional messages. They can be general or not. We have the Six of Pentacles reverse, but the King of Pentacles in reverse, and the Tower. This is that person trying to come in. The person that had you in a third party or the person that was giving in to someone else. The King of Pentacles in the reverse. The person that was greedy, that was selfish, that was all about themselves. They kept telling you that they were going to move out of a relationship or leave a relationship. Look how comfortable the King of Pentacles is in this deck. He's not moving. He's not doing shit. He's sitting in his, in his chair. He stopped. She's sitting back. And that's why it took this person so long. And it's like with this Knight of Pentacles and this Nine of Swords, this person made their bed so they needed to lay in it for a while. And it's like they were stressed out. They had a lot going on. They stayed in the situation that had them stressed out. And it took them forever to come to you. And you were the person that they wanted to be with or you are the person they possibly want to be with. But it's like with the tower here, they had to let go of something. Something had to end. And there's two people coming out of the tower. And there's water, there's feelings, there's emotion, there's enlightenment. So I feel like both of these people just... They, they got tired. They got fed up. Someone was beyond stressed out. Both of these people were. And that's why we have the tower. And that's why the water is here. Because someone was avoiding a loss. Someone was avoiding letting go with this tower here. Someone didn't want to let go of this king of pentacles reverse. Or this king of pentacles wasn't letting go of this other person. For some of you guys with the six of pentacles, it, all, it had to do with finances. And them giving to that situation financially. But now the tower is here. Now someone is just like, it doesn't matter. Okay, but there's something you have to think about because it's like even though this person is coming back for somebody guys Virgo, are they really going to give to you? Are they going to really commit to you? They're coming in with the Knight of Pentacles energy and the Nine of Swords. Again, this really stressed out. Okay, and they do want justice with you because they see now that things can work out. So let's pull some fortune teller um, messages. These are some additional messages for Virgo. We have mountain. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. So they're telling you to remain cautious, that you are protected. Okay, you've been through a lot of challenges. That's why I'm saying this person that's coming in, maybe this was an obstacle or challenge here. It had to be. Look at the energy for some of you guys. Okay, um, we do have the moon here. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. So pay attention to your intuition. Don't put yourself back in an old phase or cycle with this person if it's not for your best and highest good. If you don't see commitment coming in, give me one more card. Or if you don't see this person as being serious, someone's going to try to sweep you off your feet and give you everything you've been asking for. Because they're coming in with this page of wands, so nice dinner with music, and it's the king of wands. They're passionate. They're all about you. You know, it just all depends. But this, there's two energies here. There's two different people here. Okay? And then we have love. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. So there is a lot of love around you. So remember, we have letting go. We have the energy card, joy is fun. But what was the first card you guys had out? Love. So seeing the love. You're committing to seeing the love in all things. Okay? And at the bottom, we have, look, the death card. A time of, nat a, a time of natural transition and transformation. What was the first card you guys had out with the tarot? The death card. So a lot of endings bring new beginnings okay so that is what i do have for you this week um virgo i definitely love you guys city lots of love your way if you guys want to book you already know fireintuition.com bye virgo